Hi brethren, it's Lisa. I came to share with you today um, a dream I had and then in trying to get understanding about the dream I received a word. So this is both a dream and a word. On May the 3rd I had a dream. So in the dream I saw that there was a man signing something. I didn't know if it was an executive order or some kind of bill, but each state was falling in line and signing, and I knew at the end of the dream that the last state had been signed and that this was it, and they had implemented um, this law that would affect the whole of the United States and the people drastically, but I didn't know in what way. It was kind of like the final penmanship on signature to get things rolling and having full legal capacity in place. So I woke and I asked Father about this dream. In praying about it, I heard the Lord kind of put in my mind a question. Do you remember me telling you in October of 2019 that everything was about to change. And I said, yes, Father. I didn't know just how much things were about to change, and things really did change. Uh, they began changing, it wasn't even six weeks later since the message that um, the virus began in Wuhan and then of course came to the states all over the world it just began to spread so <clears throat> we know and then by April the whole nation was locked down here so I believe that was the fire that the Lord was telling me in September of last year 2019 that this was a fire of trying times the whole world as it is being locked down and all of the other things that come along with that but I told the Lord yes I remember you said things were about to change back in October of 19 2019 and he said yes things are about to change again and I begin after praying about it, like I said, for a day to receive a word. He was explaining this to me again. I said, things are about to change again. And I thought about the woman in the Bible where it talks about the woman travailing about to give birth when she has a contraction. It's very painful and then it lets off for a while and another traction, contraction begins and it's even more painful. That's the way I looked at this and then I began receiving a word I heard a shift another change is coming so I got a pen and I wrote what I heard a shift another change is coming and he continued to speak and I continued to write and this is what I heard a shift another change is coming it's a shift as birth pains become more intense so shall the instructions. More restrictions will be unfolding soon. I will instruct you on what to do, how to proceed, and where to go, and what to say. If you are taken, any of you, for any reason, know that I am with you. Remember Peter in the prison? I said, yes, Father. He said, you will see many miracles such as this during these next few years. I will instruct and guide my sheep. Stay close to my spirit. This is the only way you will be able to proceed by my power. Take no thought for what you will do or say, for it will come to you 
as you go in each moment. This is when your faith needs to be strong, my children. You will know at each moment. As I give direction, you will not wonder, but it is important that you follow my instructions as they are given. Walk in faith as I lead you during this time. Things are about to get really difficult, but you will move forward with my authority and power, not yours. This has nothing to do with your physical strength or ability. This is about overcoming by my spirit. Many still do not realize the time they live in and are still trying to cling to the world and the things in it. Let go and let me guide you. I will be the driver and navigator. I will be your speaker, your voice, if you trust me and let me lead you. Believe only that I can and I will for I am. Stay in prayer for your instruction, for the time is now to listen and follow me completely, not withholding to your own strength or understanding. The time is over for that. You must understand the time is now for you to completely let go and trust me for what is unfolding will cause you great fear if you don't. I will provide. I will hold your very hand and I will lead you through each and every step if you will let me and trust me. I come quickly. Hold fast to me, my children, your comforter, your savior, your king, hallelujah, the lamb of God, your shepherd, Jesus Christ. That is the end of the message. I want to talk about, of course, I want to talk about a few things that he has revealed to me in this message because when I first received it, um, I just have to admit that I had fear in delivering the message to you guys uh, simply because of two things. One was that he referred to, if you're taken, any of you for any reason, know that I'm with you. And then he follows by saying, you will see many miracles such as this with Peter during these next few years. So I went to him in prayer and said, Father, it's really difficult for me to bring, you know, uh, time and what do you mean by, you know, the next few years? Is that from now? Is there something going to happen quickly here where Christians in this nation are, are going to be taken by officials? He began to speak to me again. And so after this prayer, I heard which was on May the 5th. Remember, I told you in January that from here on out, the messages were for the church. And I said, yes, Father. I said this because of the time and the need for instruction to my children for the coming change I spoke of. Everything is in my timing. I allow what I allow. And it is important to know how much you need to trust me in the coming months. This is a time like no other I spoke to you about in 2017. A time like no other has come to the face of the earth, to all creatures, great and small, and the enemy I told you was moving with Kohler to get his plans in place. Many have decided what side they have chosen to serve. The great war has begun. 
it is the church I will instruct my people. My people will know my voice and move as I say move. There is much confusion, but I will instruct with no confusion. Those who are mine will not wonder. They will know. They will know. You have known many times in the past when knowing in the urgency of the moment. Just stay in prayer and close to my spirit. You will have no doubt. Do not worry or fear. This always leads to confusion and mine is not a spirit of confusion. Do you not know I take care of my children? While there is much uncertainty around you in the world, when you pray and follow me, you will be led with my certainty and provision. Many soon will know it is the time. I have warned about and they will cry out and cling to those I have chosen to lead them to finding me. Your thoughts are not your own. This is spiritual warfare like no other. Learn to discern by my spirit by testing the spirits. My word is true and I speak according to my word. I am the word. Seek me in my word and prayer and I will lead my children out of captivity. I come quickly. Let me find you doing the work my father has set before you. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Set the captives free. Feed my sheep. I come quickly. Jesus Christ, the first and the last. So I am delivering this message because I felt after praying for a few days on it and the dream that I had about the governor signing the final orders and getting everything in place and then receiving the word that there was a bit of urgency to get this out. I don't know if we're weeks or months, but that's how I feel when I asked him about the timing. He did refer to um, how much we need to trust him in the coming months. And then in the first message, it refers to a few years that you will see many miracles such as this during the next few years. So this time is quickly approaching. The wonderful thing about this message is that those who know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be led by his spirit, by his provision. You will gain your strength from him. He has explained that this is a time like no other and your strength will be futile in this time that you will only be able to overcome by his spirit. So that reminds me of the scripture without Christ, you can do nothing, but you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So I had written this message in a journal um, and I didn't even realize that some of the scriptures on the bottom of the page actually referenced the message. It happened to be just on those pages. There's different scripture on each page in this journal. and. On May the 4th, when I received the word, a shift, another change is coming. The scripture at the bottom of the page, and it took me three pages in this journal, so I'll read these scriptures. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31, 8. The next scripture on the second page in the message it says God is working in you giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him Philippians 2 13 so guys this message is that 
you know, there's another shift coming. Things are about to change. The enemy is getting his plan in place. And the Lord says the change is going to be um, so great as things roll out and grow in intensity that we will not be able to do anything in our own strength, but by his spirit, by his guidance, by his voice, by his word and in prayer. So take the message to the Lord in prayer 